Who doesn't love a classic spaghetti bolognese? For this meal prep, I've tried to make the tastiest version of a spaghetti bolognese I can while also keeping the calories low. As we make this meal prep today, I'll also be giving you a few tips and tricks to get the most flavor out of your ingredient. Let's go. We'll start the bolognese sauce by cutting up the vegetables, which you'll use to make a mirepoix which is a French flavour base, consisting of onion, carrot and celery. You may be thinking, wow Blake, how do you have such a good French accent? And sadly, there's no shortcut to this accent, but years and years of practice. Back to the mirepoix. For it, you'll need one large whole brown onion, one and a half carrots, and three sticks of celery, approximately this size. You will dice the onion by cutting it in half, removing the ends and peeling. You will then slice horizontally into the onion a few times, followed by some vertical cuts towards the center of the onion. And then finally, vertically to dice. Once you get to the ends, turn it and dice that as well. To dice the carrot, peel, cut off both ends, cut in half, flatten off on one side of the carrot and cut into slices. Stack a few slices at a time and slice into sticks and then proceed to dice. Finally, for the celery, you'll cut in half, then into long sticks, which you'll then dice. And that's the mirepoix done. The ratio is two parts onion to one part carrot and celery. So the quantity should look something like this. You also need to dice three cloves of garlic, which you'll smash with the flat part of your knife, peel, and dice by rocking your knife back and forth through the garlic. Before we start cooking the bolognese sauce, we'll get our pasta water on. Fill a large pot of water halfway, set on high heat on the stove, add two large pinches of salt, and place a lid on it. Now let's start cooking. Set a large pot on medium low heat, and lightly spray with oil. Add your onion, carrot and celery to the pot and slowly cook to sweat them down for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, they should be soft but not burnt or caramelized. Remove the vegetables from the pan and set aside. Using the same pot, set to high, allow to heat, lightly oil and add 750 grams of lean beef mince to the pan. This beef is 95% lean, 5% fat. Leave the mince for one to two minutes without moving. This will allow the meat to caramelize and develop a brown crust on the bottom. This is going to bring more meaty and umami flavor to the bolognese. Flip the mince and repeat on the other side. After one to two minutes, you can break the mince up and cook until the juices evaporate and it begins rendering in its own fat. It should start sizzling in the pan. Then add the diced garlic and one tablespoon of tomato paste and stir to combine. Follow that up with the mirepoix. Then add 800 grams of canned tomato. Whole, diced or crushed will be fine. 20 milliliters of soy sauce, which sounds like an odd ingredient, but is going to add saltiness and umami flavor to the meal. You also need two beef stock cubes and 150 milliliters of water. Finally, you'll add half a tablespoon of oregano, rosemary, and black pepper. Stir this all in to combine. Bring the pot to a boil and then turn to medium low, or so it's just simmering and place a lid parsley over the pot. Now let's get the pasta cooking. Your water should be boiling now, so remove the lid and snap the 350 grams of spaghetti in half. Just kidding, I don't plan on getting crucified by any Italians today. Just place the pasta in the pot, and after 30 seconds, it should be malleable enough to be submerged. Ideally, you have a large pot to place the pasta directly in the water. We'll cook for about eight to nine minutes, or according to your pasta packaging. Continue to simmer your bolognese until the sauce begins to thicken. This should take about eight to 10 minutes. Once the pasta is cooked and the sauce is thickened, add about 100 milliliters of the pasta water to the sauce. The starch in the water will thicken and emulsify the bolognese sauce further. Then add your drained pasta to the pot and stir to combine. Finally, taste the sauce without burning off your taste buds to ensure it is salty enough for your preference. Now all you will need to do is divide the spaghetti over the five containers evenly and add parmesan cheese to finish. Spaghetti bolognese meal prep done for the week. This one takes a little bit longer than a usual meal prep. Probably took about 45 minutes all up, but I promise you it's definitely worth it once you taste it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.